Hey, thanks for checking out this video. Hit the red subscribe button and hit the like button if you find it useful. Anyways guys, enjoy the video. Welcome back to another video guys, it's Blaze2K. And today we're going to be discussing the different ways you can transfer your game saves between Nintendo Switch consoles. Now, you may be like me and you may have two Nintendo Switch systems you want to use back and forth. Or you may be upgrading to a new system and you want to transfer all your game saves over to that one. Whatever the reason, we're going to walk you through the process. Now there's two different ways of doing this. First is using Nintendo's cloud save feature, which will require a subscription to Nintendo Switch Online. And the second way is manually transferring the save file from one system to another via Bluetooth. Luckily for us, both ways are pretty simple, but not all games support cloud saves, so it's best to know both ways of transferring your save files. Now a quick disclaimer, both switches will need to be linked to the same Nintendo account. Now if you haven't done this yet or you don't know how to, just click the link at the top of the video or in the description below for a how to. So beginning with cloud saves, if you have an active Nintendo Switch Online subscription, chances are your game saves will already be backed up to the cloud. But just to be sure we've got the latest save, we're going to manually back up the save data to the cloud before we transfer it to the new Switch. So on the first Switch that has the save file we want to transfer, we're going to want to open System Settings, then go down to Data Management and then down to Save Data Cloud and select our user. Now, this is the hub for all your cloud saves. Here you can manually back up your saves to the cloud, download the saves, and you can even check when the last backup was. You can access all your cloud save data here. Nintendo even made it easy for you and included a tab showing you save data that isn't yet on the console you're using. We can also change the backup settings here and turn on or off the automatic cloud save backups or even go as far as to set it on or off for specific games. But as always, I always recommend leaving it on just so you don't have to worry about it. You can also delete your save data from the cloud, but I don't recommend doing this unless you know what you're doing. So for this example, let's say we want to transfer our save file for Sonic Mania to our new Switch. Now chances are, if you have automatic backups turned on, the latest save file will probably already be backed up to the cloud, but we're just gonna be double sure and back it up manually first. So under all save data, we'll find Sonic Mania, select it, and now we'll be greeted with two options, backup save data or download save data. On the right, it'll also tell you the date and time of the save that's been backed up and the date and the time of the save currently on this console. Since this console has the latest save file we want to transfer, we'll select backup save data. It will then say backing up and it will be uploaded to the cloud and give you a little blue tick confirming it worked. As I said previously, chances are your save will already have been backed up to the cloud. So there's a chance you'll not even have to manually back it up like we are, but it doesn't hurt just to be sure. Now we've made sure our save file is backed up on the original switch, we're going to want to go onto our second switch that we're wanting to transfer the save file to. To download the cloud save, to do that we just follow the same steps, open system settings, data management and then save data cloud once again. Now we want to find the game we want to download the save file for, in this case it was Sonic Mania. Select it, then tap on the download save data and voila! That's a save file transfer to this console. Just remember, save files are usually automatically backed up to the cloud, but they're not automatically downloaded. So you will have to manually download the save file in most cases. And although it might seem a little bit tedious at first, it will become second nature to you. And now, that wasn't too bad, was it? And now, you will also need an internet connection for cloud safes to work, but that goes without saying. So, next up, we're going to show you how to manually transfer your game saves. This is better for games that do not support cloud saves like Pokemon Sword and Shield. This method will remove the save file from the original console and transfer it to the target console. This is so people don't manipulate the system and take advantage of having two of the same save files running on two different consoles. On games like Pokemon, you can imagine a lot of shady stuff can be done if they were to allow that, like duplicating items of Pokemon and such. Now, the great thing about manually transferring your game saves is that it will not require an internet connection to do it. Now, to get started, we're going to want to get both consoles next to each other, and on both of them, open up System Settings, Data Management, and this time, select Transfer Your Save Data. 
Now on the console with the save data, you'll want to select send save data to another console. After that's done, select the game whose save you want to transfer. As you can see, it tells us the save data will be deleted from this console, so just be aware of that. Now on the receiving switch console, we'll want to select receive save data and it will tell us to prepare the other console. Now, as I said before, make sure both consoles are sitting next to each other and select send save data on the first console. And after a few seconds, the switch systems should find each other. And as you'll see, the save data will transfer from one system to the other just fine. It's as simple as that. So guys, I hope that helped you. If you have any questions whatsoever, just ask them down below in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if I helped and smash that big red subscribe button for more Switch gaming and tech videos. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to join me. And as always, it's Blaze2K. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Please like this video if you like it and subscribe if you want to see more Switch and tech content. Thanks for watching.